Meghan Markle plans for birth of baby, may break from royal tradition. Meghan Markle plans for birth of baby, may break from royal tradition. Meghan Markle had reportedly chosen to break tradition and not give birth in the London hospital where many royals have been born since the 1970s, often posing with their newborns as they leave. But British newspaper, The Sun reports that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are instead opting for a hospital closer to their new home in the town of Windsor. Kensington Palace commented on the report contributor Victoria Arbiter now on set respectful of Harry and Meghan's decision because, ultimately, it's not about to have your baby. I think it's a number of factors that, that have been decided here, but, as you mentioned at the moment, we still speculation because it's been no official word from Kensington Palace. The very international living she's been to you that she can't agree with vegan diet during the week. That's the kind of bus she got to go full as well, but she's 37 and a pregnancy over the age of such five is considered a geriatric pregnancy. Comes a few more potential risk, and so I think even this is Megan's spice baby. She wants to make smart choices on the advice of significant any other hospitalized you mentioned in the 1970s. That's when will the reign start in 1974? Who was the first princess text of you? Both Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie at the Portland Hospital Imagination. Can giving she gave up her country her jewel, PC one of a kind in the States that two on life in the UK and she's very positively 110th touch the South Pacific Island Tonga and Fiji, with the Grenfell Tower cookbook together, that was in the community, the community, what's which, even within the royal family but she's, been very careful to follow traditions in Price Cold as well even though they are set to move into their new home soon. British tabloid The Sun is reporting that Meghan Markle will not give birth at the Lindo Wing of London's St. Mary's Hospital, which has been used by the royal family since the 1970s. Markle and her husband Prince Harry have reportedly chosen a more private hospital closer to their new home in Windsor. CBS News royal contributor Victoria Arbiter discusses the latest details on CBSN. Good luck to her we say. As the due date draws closer, Meghan Markle has been making plans to give birth to her first child. It sure is an exciting time for the expectant mum, and her husband Prince Harry. And it sounds like when it comes to the birthing plan, Meghan will be ignoring royal tradition. She's dead right too, you have to do things your way. Meghan has reportedly hired a special birthing partner for the big day, called a doula. Ahead of the birth of the newest arrival has sought the, the help of a doula alongside a traditional midwife. So, what is a doula, we hear you asking? Well, according to Wikipedia, a doula is a non-medical person who assists a woman before, during, or after childbirth, to provide emotional support and physical help if needed. According to The Sun, the Duchess has lined up Lauren Muscon to be her carer. Lauren is apparently coaching Prince Harry on how to help his wife through labor, which is actually really sweet. Interestingly, Lauren is married to Oliver Miscon, whose grandfather was in charge of the legal firm that handled Princess Diana and Prince Charles' divorce. It's a small world lads. Speaking about the rumors that Lauren will be Meghan's doula, she said. Well, I am obviously not at liberty to talk about who, or who might not, be my client. So I can't possibly. I wouldn't be able to talk to you about anything. Also over the weekend, we learned that staff at the Lindo Wing have been asked not to take any holidays around the time of Meghan's due date. This would lead us to believe that plans are underway for the Duchess to give birth in the same place as Princess Diana and Kate Middleton.